a little day in my life. I'll show you what I got from Primark. I'm so here for the autumn vibes. But it's actually been quite a good day on the shop today. We like to print with HP. This person ordered chocolate covers, oh, strawberries, little bit of goggle box. Look at that tail go. everyone i hope you're all having a lovely day so far today i have got a little day in my life video for you because i really enjoy filming these i feel like it gives you a more in-depth look at my life don't get me wrong i love the weekly vlogs but it really is like snippets of each day whereas these type of videos are like thorough if you're new here hi i'm hannah i have two jobs now so my main is this youtube channel creating content videos instagrams and things like that and my second job is running my small business called sunnyside where i sell pet accessories like harnesses collars things like that so there's a little bit about me got some plans with some friends tonight but for right now i've gotten up got ready and i'm hungry so i'm gonna go and make myself some breakfast every single morning without fail i sit and have breakfast with my mum we always eat our breakfast together me and my mum are like attached to the hip to be fair we are the best of friends we do everything together i am 23 but i absolutely love being around her all the time we always catch up on a bit of youtube together so that's what i'm gonna go and do now this is sunny my little dog she's a cavapoo and she's a year old do you want your breakfast is it breakfast time i think she's broken to be honest she's not really food motivated and she doesn't really enjoy going for walks she's a bit lazy and she just wants cuddles all the time and that is basically her life. And being cute, that's a big part of your day, isn't it, little one? Got my breakfast, which consists of mango and passion fruit yogurt with a bit of fruit and nut granola on top. And Sunny didn't want her breakfast yet. She's not hungry. This new bed cracks me up. It's a Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> it was sent to us by Aunt Bessie's. She loves it. To be fair, it's really comfortable. I've used it as a pillow. And I have to say, if I was a dog, I would feel the same. So she's just chilling in her bed right now. I think it takes her tummy a while to wake up in the morning before she eats breakfast. So she didn't want hers yet, but I defo do. Look at this yumminess. So guys, I am now out in my office and the next job of my day is to pack the orders that have come in since last night. So I've got six to do this morning so far. Not gonna lie, this week has been really busy, especially the past couple of days because, do you know what I think it is? And this literally blows my mind. I posted a TikTok on the Sunnyside um, TikTok account. I had like 600 followers on there. Not even that, I don't think. I think it's like 500 and something. And then I posted this TikTok and it's got 93,000 views at the minute and I've now got over a thousand followers. So quite a lot of orders came in yesterday. So yesterday was manic and this is kind of like the tail end of that really. So six orders this morning. Sorry, the printer's being noisy. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My favorite part of running a business is the packing of the orders. I think I enjoy it so much because it's so different to my other job, like creating YouTube videos. I like doing something practical, making it look really cute in the box. I just love it, you know? This person ordered the golden beige harness with the matching lead and the matching poo bag holder adorable look how beautiful that is the cable knit design i am so here for it then i add a little quote card and a little tag us in your pictures card do the postage and it's good to go and i, I really want to know really want to know in the trusty primark bag ready to take to the post office i always combine the post office run with sunny's walk in the morning now so pop to the post office take her for a walk it is raining a little bit today so i think i'm gonna take her around the woods we've got like a little wooded area near us just because it's a bit sheltered and i don't want to get wet but first of all post office run i've got some click and drop parcel to send if that's okay so we're just out for our morning walk but sunny's not really enjoying it because it's rained this morning um and she doesn't like wet grass <laughs> 
You know what I was saying this morning about Sunny being broken because she doesn't like food or walks. She also doesn't like wet grass. Look at her. She's like, oh, why are you making me walk on this? Honey's going to kick your ball. Ready. Steady. <laughs> Sunny's made a friend. Hello. This is Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Hello. We've seen her a couple of times. She's so sweet. Who's that, Sunny? Is that Maisie? Sunny's sometimes scared of other dogs as well, but if they're the same size... Or smaller. Or smaller. <laughs> Look at that tail go. <gasps> I don't know why I'm tired. Mum and I have just come over to Chelmsford because I've got a pair of joggers to return in Primark. So gutted. They were so nice, but they just don't fit right. They're like really tight around my thighs, and that's not what I want in joggers. So I'm going to return those to Primark, have a little browse around, not going to lie. I need to go into WH Smith for a plastic envelope. I'm going to pop into M&S as well, but we're not going to be long. We'll probably be like an hour max, and then we're going to go home and have some lunch. So that's the plan. That's the next thing today. I needed to return this to Primark today because I feel like I'm getting to the end of the point where I'm not allowed to return it anymore. If you know what I mean? The return period, I think it's coming to an end. Hello, everyone. Wow. I did not vlog anything out and about because it was actually quite busy. I was surprised, but but it was packed. Um, so I didn't vlog, but I didn't actually buy that much, to be fair, in Primark. Took my joggers back. I went into Hotel Chocolat as well because last Christmas I got their Velvetizer, you know, like their hot chocolate machine. And I saw this new flavour was coming out. I saw it on Instagram a few days ago. And I've been so excited. So I popped in and I've got another box of just the classic hot chocolate and also the Black Forest Gatto. The Black Forest hot chocolate from Costa is my favourite hot drink ever. Black Forest Gatto is my favourite dessert. And the lovely lady gave me and my mum a sample of it to try before I bought it and it was delicious so i'd highly recommend it it's really good so yeah got those they're expensive though 26 pound for these two which kind of hurts my soul a bit here's sunny bear hello my camera battery's flashing so i'm gonna make this quick and show you what i got from primark oh got my little plastic popper things that i needed as well from wh smith so the first thing i got are some hats for the winter because these feel so soft so i've got four colors i've got black this cream color i got brown and i got a beige so I'm happy with them. They honestly feel so nice. And they were £3 each. I've got my hair up right now, but love it. What a look. I've got a pair of high-waisted grey leggings. Because you can't go wrong with those on a dog walk. Leggings and an oversized jumper are my vibe this autumn. I've got some black fluffy socks to wear like with my DMs and stuff. I've got this flannel shirt, which I really like. It's a really soft cotton material. It's like brushed cotton. And it was £9. Got it in a size 12 because I wanted it to be a bit oversized. But I really like the colours of it. Not going to lie, mostly bought it because it's soft. Also bought these because they're soft. Some more cosy socks. Don't mind dog having a scratch down there. Um, these are from Primark's Sustainable Range. They were £3 for two pairs, but they feel lovely. My camera battery just died, so here I am on my phone. But the last thing I got was a hoodie. Looks a bit cheap on the hanger, not gonna lie, but I'm trying to envision it with an outfit and like styling it, and I think it will look nice. So this was... The labels fell off it, but I think this was £12. I like it. It's elasticated around the waist. Looks quite cosy. I think layering this up, it could look really lovely. And yeah, that's everything I bought from Primark. My fave things are Defo, the flannel shirt and the hats. So cute and autumn-y. I'm so here for the autumn vibes. Cosy socks, big jumpers, woolly hat. Oh, I love it. So that's everything I've got. I'm going to make myself some lunch now. I bought some baby bells in Tesco. I've not had a baby bell for years. I reckon Sunny's going to love this, actually. Comment down below. Do you like baby bells or not? I do. I'm not like a baby bell obsessor. Like, I'm not going to start a fan club for them, but I like them. What's this? <laughs> She's going to take it and eat it over there. Do you want it a bit smaller? Mmm, it's yummy. Don't tell me I've just wasted like a quarter of my baby bell for you. It's nice. How do you not like baby bells? You're a dog. You're meant to love cheese. And I am back in my office because while I was out at Chelmsford, I had four more orders come in. So it's actually been quite a good day on the shop today. A couple of them are bundles as well. I think I've mentioned this on my channel, but I offer a big discount if someone buys the whole bundle. So you get £15 off if you buy the entire thing, which makes it like £45 instead of 60 So it is a good deal and a lot of people take advantage of it. And included in that, you get a harness, collar, lead, poo bag holder and a bow tie. So it's really good value for money. So I'm going to print off the orders now, package them up and then take them to the post office because 
because the post office shuts in about an hour so i want to make sure they go off today because it's friday and i don't like anyone to be waiting for their order longer than they need to be got another baby bell while i do this let's go printer let's go we like to print with hp because hp is our mate and when we print with hp she gets the job done in eight seven six five actually she's a little bit slow not gonna lie <laughs> but hp if you ever want to sponsor i love my hp desk jet 2710e printer she was a bargain from curry's by the front door and ready to go so buy packages so today's video is so today's video, video i'm gonna sit and play with sunny for half an hour now give her a bit of attention because she's spent quite a lot of time on her own she's got a lot of energy you've got beans haven't you go then and I'm just gonna sit and watch Ellen and Neil while I play with her for a little while. I find that if I give her half an hour to just really play, then she'll sleep again and I can get on with more work. Whereas if I just kind of like try and work and play at the same time, it doesn't work as well. So I might as well just like cancel work for the next half an hour. I've got a lot of editing to do. But if I play with her, sorry. But if I play with her quite intensely for half an hour, she'll sleep and then I can properly work. So ready? Go, it's Luke L. Whoa. So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Me again, checking in. The time is now, quarter past six in the evening. Since I last vlogged, I've been editing this video, actually. I've just been sat here on my bed, editing away. It's all right, Sunny. She just heard the door. My mum very kindly took Sunny for a walk this afternoon while I've been editing. Because I was a bit stressed, not going to lie. But I'm getting there now. Sunny's on the bed with me. Here she is. Oh, a tummy rub. And this evening, my mum and dad are going out for dinner with their friends. So I've got a couple of my friends coming round. So two of my friends, Leanne and Sophie, are coming over for a pizza and a girly night little chit chat and Sophie loves Sunny so Sunny's gonna have a good evening as well they'll be arriving in like 10 minutes so I wanted to get as much editing done as possible because I've got quite a busy day tomorrow the chocolate covered strawberries you saw me making in the last clip are for the three of us after our pizzas because Leanne loves chocolate covered strawberries so I thought I'd make them for when they come over but yeah that's all I have to update you on really it's been an editing evening and now I'm gonna see some friends I'm working on my work-life balance at the moment because I seem to be working like 80% of the time and then socialising 20% and I want to have more of like a 60-40 balance, ideally. Is that me living in a dream world? Probably. <laughs> Leanne and Sophie are here now. Do you want to be in it or nay? I mean, I look a bit. <laughs> you look lovely. You both do. <laughs> Our pizzas have just arrived. Sophie's actually gluten-free. I'm excited to hear if it's nice. Yeah, me it too. does look it nice. It to does, be fair. And it's not, it's not hardy. No. Me. Lovely. So you've got pepperoni. Leanne's got a New Yorker. New Yorker. How on brand. Yes. Oh, and so if you also got the nachos because they're gluten free yeah. from Domino's in case you're gluten free. Easy. And me and Leanne have got this chicken box to share. Sadly, not GF. So <laughs> so if we cannot have this. And I've got the scrummy. This is so nice. I tried it recently. It's got pepperoni, ham, bacon, chorizo tandoori chicken and meatballs <laughs> specially made by me i'm actually really excited oh, they look beautiful don't jump <laughs> they're not for you chocolate covered strawberries little bit of goggle box and a little girl's night And after a shower and a little bit of a skincare routine, that was the end of my day. I was so tired last night that I couldn't even face ending this video. So here I am the next day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you'd like me to do more of this style. I personally really enjoy filming these. I feel like you really get to have a good old look at my days. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, please do give this video a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to see my videos. I upload every Sunday. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Do you prefer week? weekly vlogs or day in the life videos I would love to know it would be really really handy but for now thanks for watching I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you again very very soon with another little video bye guys love ya